Hey, good evening. Robert Davis Becker with you. This evening we're going to do a tutorial on uh, a complete database. It's a small one, three tables. It's a quotations database. And what I'm going to do is show you how to relate all those tables. Um, it's a MySQL database. We haven't done that before. And how to relate all those tables on a form and graph the items in the order. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you my SQL here. Here's the customers table. And uh, we have customer ID, uh, which is an auto ink field, name, email, phone. It's a simple database, but we just want to get you up and running. Here's the orders table we have item ID supplier ID item ID is the auto ink field the item the quantity the price and the customer ID and then let's look at supplier we have a supplier ID which is the auto ink primary key the name, the email, and the phone. So that's all we really need to do in um, MySQL Workbench. So let's minimize this. It won't give us an argument about uh, an open database. In the... Okay, and let's uh, open Project 1 here and you can see I've got this pretty much ready to go and uh, I'm using DB grids just to simplify this so it doesn't take a long time with DB edits and all that and uh, editing will go much quicker and uh, then I'm using a TDB chart here a pie graph and these are our three db navigators for each of these three db grids and so we have to drop a mysql provider unit provider on the form that comes from down here on um, unidac providers and here's the the MySQL unit provider. And then we need a connection which comes from Unidac T unit connection. And that's this fella right here. Whoop. Accidentally put that on there. Uh, this fella right here. And you just need to set up the connection string and the database uh, let's see is there a wizard yes there is a wizard right click on the connection and click connection editor and you get this dialog and you select the provider mysql there you see it. The server, which is 127.0.0.1, which is standard. The port, however, is 3306. I am the user. This is my password. And you see we can select the database. And we're going to use the quotes database. And we can say connect. But it's already connected. Okay. So that's what we need there. And then we go with our three tables. The connection is already established for us. 
come down here and select the table name from the drop down. Customers is it. And then we'll look at unit, I mean, uh, unit table two, which is the items table. And it is joined to the master table or the uh, unit table one by unit unit data source one and here we have uh, the cust id equals the customer customer id equals the customer id in the master field and then table three is the supplier field uh, supplier table and um, that's related to the items uh, by supplier ID, unit, unit data source two and supplier ID equals supplier ID. Okay. And then we assign the unit data sources for each of the tables. And then we, uh, let's see, I'll do this again to show you. We go here to um, T chart standard. We want a DB chart. And let's uh, fit this how we want it right now. And then double click and on here uh, I double clicked on the wrong thing on here we want to add a pie graph then double click go to data source and we want data set I can stop this thing um, and which data set is unit table 2 and we want item and quantity and hit apply okay and we can close that so What's going to happen when we run this? Let's just see. No errors. Thank you. And see, we have these quotations for these customers. This gives the main demographics. And then this gives the items. And this gives the supplier. And um, the reason I'm doing this is to show you everything in the table on the form. Now um, it's all ready. Let's go ahead and create a new customer. Customer ID is taken care of by MySQL. And we'll give this as a Michael Ridgeway MR at email.com.com and uh, we'll just with that and you see if we uh, scroll up to Michael Ridgeway these two uh, DB grids are cleared out because there's no no relationship exists uh, for items or suppliers so in order to do that, we're going to add some items. And uh, let's see, supplier ID would be, uh, well, we'll see in a minute, item. Um, Tapestry wall hanging. Say one, one, and we'll make that nine ninety nine. 
95. And we'll give them another carpet cleaner. One. Okay, and now we want to add a supplier. So we come down here to Martha's Hangings. And since there's no relationship, um, we're going to go up here and set this to four and scroll off of it. And there you see automatically we get four. Same thing here. So you can add all those in. And when you scroll, the graph refreshes for the items that are in there. See how that works? And uh, this just shows you one of each. So the MySQL database is represented here with the three tables in the DB grids and their relationships and how when you scroll you get the graph updated plus all the other DB grids updated. So that's that in a nutshell. And if you have any questions or comments, um, leave them in the comments section below, please. You might hit the like button if you did like it. And uh, subscribe, maybe. Um, and hit that notification bell, notify for new, get notified for new tutorials that I post when I post them. And that's it for this. Again, I'm Robert Davis. I enjoyed doing this for you and I hope you get something out of it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.